Hello, my friends. Wes Guy here. Welcome to the Cardinal Coaching Solutions Podcast. And if you're listening, uh, well, actually, if you're listening on the podcast, you'll want to check the link in the show notes to check out the video because I have got my new pal, Captain, here on camera. If you've been listening for a while, you know that uh, my family has been here. You're going to hear some crunching here. There you go. We'll get you eating on the microphone, buddy. Uh, my family's been moving towards a puppy for a long time, so this is Captain. This is our uh, three-month-old Basenji. You got to check that breed out. They are really cool, and uh, so I wanted to introduce him to you guys here. As you hear him snacking away, I'm about to hand him off to Mommy so they can go outside and uh, uh, have some playtime here in the morning. So there you go. There's Captain. Say hi, buddy, buddy. Yeah. All right. First TV appearance here. Well done. Welcome, everyone. Uh, thanks so much for joining. Um, as you can tell, I'm probably just a little bit scattered this morning. Lots of new things going on. If you've ever welcomed a new pet into your life, whoa, a lot goes on. We've had Captain for uh, two and a half weeks now, I believe, and uh, and every day just does continue to get better. My daughters adore him. My wife adores him. I mean, he is, there is no shortage of love here. Um, but as you can imagine, when there's big impact, uh, there's also, that's really fertile soil for some learning. And so I wanted to share something with you guys this morning. This will be a little bit shorter today. So about, this was about two weeks ago. It was the first, it was the first three days that we had brought Captain home. Brought him home on a Sunday afternoon. And and this has been a long journey. Again, if you've been listening, you know that that this has been a journey for our family. Uh, It's probably been about eight months that we've been on this journey, just building relationships with breeders, finding what we felt like was the right fit for us, the right breed for us, um, and making space, you know, in our home for, for this new pack member. And so, um, about three days in, you know, we're sleep deprived. <laughs> uh, all of our schedules and routines are completely upended. Uh, I'll be fully transparent with you. Within the first 24 hours, I, I had this moment of near panic where I thought, oh man, we, we have made a cataclysmic mistake. <laughs> oh man. But like I said, every day continues to get better. Anyway, within those first three days, thankfully, we hit this patch in mid-March of just glorious early spring weather. It was beautiful and sunny here in the Mid-Atlantic. And so <clears throat> me and my girls and Captain were outside in our backyard. And my youngest daughter, Violet, she's five years old. She comes running up to me, Daddy, 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 I have something to tell you. What is it? She says, Daddy, look, my tooth is loose. And she, and she proceeds to open her mouth ah, and wiggle her tooth for me. It's her first loose tooth. Now, she's seen big sister lose some teeth, but this, this is a big moment for her. It's her first loose tooth. And she's so excited. And then she gets a little quieter and she says, Daddy, I have something else to tell you. Oh, okay. What is it? She says, well, I'm a little bit happy and I'm a little bit scared. Why? And of course, she goes on to tell me she's happy about losing her tooth. She's happy about the tooth fairy coming because she's seen this happen with Big Sister. And and she's a little bit scared about losing a tooth. Yeah. And it was such a beautiful moment. By this time, Big Sister Chloe had come over to join the conversation. Captain was there with us. And I said, Violet, I said, girls... I want you to know how powerful, what what Violet just said, how powerful it was. She said she's a little bit happy and a little bit scared. I said, Violet, do you want to know something? I said, the night that I drove mommy to the hospital when she was going to give birth to you, I, we, we were a little bit happy and we were a little bit scared. And I looked at Chloe and I said, Chloe, When I drove to the hospital to meet your mom, who was already there, I'll never forget parking my Jeep Cherokee and grabbing our go bags and thinking, I have no idea what's about to happen, what's about to transpire. I guess 
the next time I come out to this Jeep, I might have a little girl. I said, Chloe, I was a little bit happy and I was a little bit scared. And then I picked up Captain and I said, girls, do you remember how two days ago when we all climbed into the truck from the breeder's home and mommy was sitting in the back with you two and she had Captain on her lap and we started the drive home? You girls remember that? I said, I was a little bit happy and I was a little bit scared. And it just dawned. I don't think I would have ever put those two together, honestly. Happy and scared. It dawned on me the more I spoke with my girls and the more I just just reflected on, you know, learning opportunities in my own life that honestly, if I am not meeting that intersection of happy and scared, if I'm not there with some amount of regularity, then I am probably not growing. I'm probably not growing. I'm not getting better. I'm not getting getting sharper. If I am not putting myself in situations where I'm a little bit excited and I have no idea how this is going to go, then I'm probably not experiencing growth. I'm not pushing myself. I'm not extending myself. And it was a really cool opportunity to experience that. I, 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 like I said, I really don't think I would have put those two together, happy and scared. And so my invitation is, what is that for you? When have you felt like that in your life? What's a memory that you have that, yeah, those are, those are two pretty good descriptions. I, I, I would say probably all of what I described to you, especially with our, our daughter's birth, it was probably more scared than happy. Uh, and so, What are some memories like that for you? And maybe another question would be, when was the last time you've been there? Or what are you holding back on? What is something that when you think about it, it does bring joy. It does make your heart light up. It does bring happiness. And right on the heels of that, there's some fear. And maybe it's kept you from taking the next step. What is that for you? If that's something you'd like to discuss, you'd like to unpack, mm, that is my sweet spot. That, Those are the conversations. Those are the coaching sessions that keep me on the edge of my seat. I'd love to do that with you. Shoot me an email, Wes, W-E-S, at cardinalcoachingsolutions.com. Wes, at CardinalCoachingSolutions.com. Thank you so much for joining. Once again, I'll, I'll do the shout out again for the, uh, uh, the 2021 Self Care Summit. There's always a link to that. Uh, it is an amazing resource of all things related to self care. You've heard me mention it many times on this podcast. Uh, click the link, check that out. It's a, it's a treasure trove. It's a library. Uh, uh, amazing practitioners, teachers, coaches, artists of all kinds. Um, So do yourself a favor. Check that resource out. And so again, thanks for joining. Uh, I'll say hi to Captain for you. I'm sure that won't be his last appearance. And every day gets better. The intersection of happy and scared. I think that's probably where the real magic lies. We'll do this again soon.